This is a quick video to discuss the World Peace Day DDP and what comes next. So this was the DDP's 11 year anniversary and our 100th party. We were actually gonna postpone, but then at the last minute we got an opportunity to be part of a global World Peace Day broadcast. Thank you to the World Peace Weekend organizers for that. And yeah, things were not looking so good. It was the middle of a pandemic. There was all these forest fires in Vancouver or nearby. Smoke everywhere. It was supposed to rain on that day, but we kept hope alive and worked non-stop to make this thing happen. Dearly beloveds, we are gathered here today to wage peace to catalyze joy and love on a global scale. To prove once and for all that time and space will no longer divide us. As you can see, this wasn't just a virtual party. We also had a stack of 11 giant sound box speakers out in the world, downtown Vancouver. That love and connection are infinitely possible. Today, we are one. One party experiencing itself, expressing love, unity, and eternal resplendence. The human race for too long has been divided, diminished, and disserviced by a world that does not make public celebration a paramount priority. There's a lot to know here, but we've been doing the DDP for the past 11 years, and the goal for the majority of those years has been to create a simultaneous global dance party that will unite the entire world in transcendent celebration and earn us the Nobel Peace Prize for partying. And the goal on this day was to demonstrate that vision. And despite all the odds, I think we pulled off what we set out to achieve. And the culmination of that was this. We did have a dream today. It is nearly fulfilled. It was to create That was a very emotional moment for old Gary, who's not the most emotional guy, normally. And yeah, everything came together magically once again. The universe provided and let us know that this is possible and that we can do this thing. And it has been a wild 25 straight weeks in a row since the pandemic started. We've been doing these parties at least once a week and it has been an amazing experience to find a way, despite everything, to still unite people around the globe. And there's been a lot of amazing developments along the way, including teaming up with Co-Reality Collective who made the Sparkleverse open source software, which I believe is the framework for a new social network based on love. And now after 25 weeks, it is time to take a pause. I think we achieved our other objective on Peace Day, which is to get the footage required to finally complete the DDP documentary, which we've been trying to create for many years. So moving into the fall, we're gonna shift gears into creating the documentary, the DDP field manual to activate as many people as possible around the world. And to activate this global DDP community, which I believe will be a new virtual community on this Sparkleverse software. 
And yeah, that is the plan. We're also going to be shifting into a fundraising mode. So if you want to go to our website, there's a spot to donate there. Also on Patreon. It is not cheap or easy to build this dream. What else is going on tonight? We are doing the final party before Halloween. Burning Seed Australia. Tonight is Friday, September 25th or 26th, midnight Pacific time. Hope you will join us. This is, although it's been 11 years, just the beginning of the beginning. Oh yeah, I didn't explain this yet. We have a DDP app that lets anyone in the party, no matter where you are, become a node on the map and a node out in the world, a beacon of light and hope. And this is the dream, this is the goal, to turn the entire world into a dance floor. And I do believe that this is the most powerful possible way that we can wage peace, that we can align and conquer the only entity that needs conquering, which is fear. So that's what we're doing. Thank you for watching this quick and dirty video. And yeah, despite everything, hopes are very high and I hope you will join us. The DDP dot com. And a massive thank you to all the rare and beautiful friends who supported not only Peace Day, but myself and the DDP for the last 11 years. You guys have kept me going and kept this thing going and looking forward to uniting this global community of very special people together. I do believe we have the capability to change everything forever for the 